I don't think everything is a game, man. The black market is open. Yeah. Right now, the black market is open. Open it up. Clayton, sometimes it's people that we run into at the black market that be so important, they got this many accounts. Come on, man. I ain't gonna show them all to I don't even know if them accounts, that's accolades. These are associations and affiliations. Oh, man. Affirmations. Degrees. Pedigrees. Come on, man. Come on, man. Look, look into any one of these cameras, man, and give them a brief introduction. I'm gonna tell them the rest. Kevin Gooch, I'm a partner at the law firm of Holland and Knight. Been practicing law about 18 years now. Immediate past president of the 100 Black Men of Atlanta. And uh, just here to help folks understand the value of having great lawyers on your team. Tell them about it. You uh, gotta have a good one. I will say, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. I'll that's, say that again. That's what they say to an make you pay that money. ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Because mm -hmm. if you have the lawyer on the front end, they're a lot <coughs> cheaper than need them on the back end to fix right. something. So prepaid legal wasn't <laughs> Nah, we don't do prepaid <laughs> legal. Nah. That's not what we're don't talking about. Nah. Did anybody ever go to trial with prepaid legal? I want to know. They in jail, I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> Wait a minute. Hey, man, hold on. I got to email my lawyer. <laughs> What's his name? I don't know. It's a group. It's a bunch of them. And the email address is AOL. Right. It's whoever they connect me to. <laughs> When's your court date? Bounce that right out. 100 black men of Atlanta. Tell the people who may not know what that is. So it's a 35-year organization of African-American men in the city of Atlanta that came together to make a difference in our community, because if not us, then who? And we do a lot of mentoring young people. We are based out of uh, Best Academy High School on the west side of Atlanta, and we do a lot of work across APS in general. And we do scholarships, mentoring. Over the two years that I was the chairman from 2019 to 2021, we gave a half a million dollars in scholarships to young people in the city of Atlanta. That's what's up. That's what's up, man. 35 years? Yeah, the organization has been around for 35 years. That's a long time, but I, always, I guess I always thought it was longer. <laughs> but I guess it's been around since I've been around oh. for the most part, oh. so, yeah. Oh. Yeah, and, and I'm a corporate in a lot of things, man. What were you saying? Oh, I was saying I'm a corporate lawyer, so a lot of people ask me, uh, do I have any cases? I don't really handle cases as a Not corporate case law. Correct. Correct. As a corporate lawyer, I do deals, transactions, uh, provide advice to entrepreneurs, to business owners, to companies, to entertainers. Advice. Give me some advice. To try I'm, to keep them out of trouble. You know you three of the things that you name. Give me some advice. What you what, what you got going on? What you need advice about? This is advice. Hire a good lawyer. All right. <laughs> and talk to him before you do stuff. I don't do shit that's going to require me to get, like, a lawyer like that. Well, what I'm saying is deals. If you're doing deals, do. when, you, when your homies yeah. come to ask you, hey, man, invest in this, nope. let me talk to my lawyer first. Nope. I always use us to get out of it. You're right. <laughs> well, I always say I call the accountant. Good lawyers and good accounts. You need yeah, both yeah. of them on your yeah. team. And I would put the lawyer on the account's ass. <laughs> That's right. That's right. That's just me, though. Let us check what other people are doing to make sure they're doing it right. How did you get into law? Um, I got into law through defiance. I was raised by my grandmother uh, out in Covington, Georgia. And uh, my parents were out in Cali. They were in my life, but she raised me. And so people would say someone raised by their grandmother in Covington, Georgia, probably won't be a lawyer. Right. And I just wanted to show them that I could be a lawyer. You gotta be convincing. That's right, so it motivated me yeah. to go do what they told me I couldn't do. So that's how I got into practicing law. So, like you said, tell the people the difference between like case law and this corporate law that you're doing. Yeah, so you have litigators that end up in court. They deal with cases, 
criminal cases or civil cases, then you have other lawyers that are transactional lawyers and their job is to put deals together. So I feel like my job is to facilitate a transaction between two people. So if it's a bank wanting to loan money and a borrower wanting to borrow money, my job is to bring them together. If it's someone wanting to sell a business, someone wanting to buy a business, my job is to bring them together. Yeah, because you're going to have to go over the contract. That's right, that's right. right. Somebody wants content, someone's creating content, my job is to bring them together yeah, yeah, and make sure the money's right. See, we no, see yeah. this needed to happen, because I feel like we might be able to make a few dollars. <laughs> that's right, that's right. You know, I'm, I'm in the business. And protect, protect the dollars you make. Exactly, right. legally. That's right. Yeah. That's the plan. I'm all for that, because everybody who knows me knows that I don't have any money <laughs> I am zero. <laughs> but hey, legally, that's how it's supposed that's to be. Right. I am that's fucked right. up right now. That's right. That's right. Hoping and praying that God see fit to just front me a little piece of a blessing until I can get on my feet. <laughs> but I do think everyone needs to really value a good lawyer on your team. Yeah, um, I've seen so, many, so much further. Yeah, I've, I've seen, seen so, so many situations, situations where folks go online and pull documents off of the web and then the have a successful business and they get into it with a business partner or something and the documents don't account for that. And that's how you end up owning a stupid business where you own the building and somebody else owns the parking lot. <laughs> stupid shit. Now you got to pay the park at your bill. <laughs> that is the dumbest shit. Like I've seen, like when you, like you said, the importance of having a good lawyer. That's what keep you out of these shitty deals forever. And then you can't get your money back, and then you can't own nothing that you've done. You need a, a good lawyer that can go in there and act on your behalf and your interests to say, nope, this is what my client said. Don't sign the deal if it ain't right. If you can't add this, and then he'll go back and be like, Los, they're not going for this tattoo shit. I don't know why you put that in there. Sometimes you just got to throw some ridiculous demands in there just to see if they paying attention to what you want. That's right, that's right. And then when they go for you, like, oh, shit. They really? went for that? Yeah. And I want $700 million up right. front. They was like, look, they can't do seven. But they'll give you three. And they wasn't about to give you shit. You see what I'm saying? You That's just got, sometimes you have to ask for some shit to get some shit. Because exactly. you was about to not get shit. <laughs> if you would have just went in there and because you thirsty and you happy and your lawyer you didn't want the lawyer to see it, send it to the lawyer and be like, uh-uh, I don't like this shit right here. They want to pay me in November. I need to get paid today. Because they first offer it's crazy. Stupid. It's, it's going to be it's gonna low as fuck. So then I'll be like, hey, man, your offer got to be crazy on the opposite end. <laughs> so we get these motherfuckers right where the fuck we need to be. Right. Even if they're awful good, I'm still asking for something else. That's yes. right. Make, Make them say no. Yes. Make them say I no. I ask more for trivia, I need more for travel. I'm traveling different. I need more for travel. How do you plan on getting there? A camel. <laughs> when I get to town, I'm gonna have a man meet me. And I'm <laughs> So ask for some shit, man. I will say don't be afraid to get a no, right? Like always ask for something and make someone tell you no. Ask a lot of times I see people that'll just take what's given to them. And they Because uh, they, they be wanting a deal so uh -huh. bad just to say they got a deal. Mm -hmm. But the deal ain't even in your favor. Yep. So push them. I know. Get a better deal. Exactly. That's why I got the 85 South Show. I make my own deals, even amongst my team. You can ask them. I ask them for ridiculous shit all the time. <laughs> And y'all are doing some amazing stuff, man. I'd have to tip the cap to y'all. Y'all are doing some you, man. amazing this stuff. Shout out to the team. Change the game. Yeah, man. It takes, like you said, it's 100 black men over here. <laughs> <laughs> and women, too. It's, it's about three women. <laughs> about three women. We had to hire just like a little bit of them so they wouldn't have enough to outvote us on shit. <laughs> Smart, misogyny, misogyny. It's <laughs> absolutely not true. It's absolutely not true, and it is false, and it was just a joke. <laughs> now you have to say that legally. My lawyer's right here. Legal approved. He would have told me what to say. 
Nah, man. We legal, legal approach. Well, how can they get in touch with you, man? What, what can they reach out and, you know, start facilitating and get some deals done with you? So, my firm is Holland and Knight. We are a top 30 law firm, a billion dollar law firm. So, I'm on the web. A billion website. dollar law firm. Billion dollar law firm. What does that mean? That means the law firm makes a billion dollars a year. Y'all got out there getting paper. <laughs> what you thought it meant? I mean, like, I don't know how you need to spend a billion dollars. I'm just saying, I don't know how you, uh, you know, evaluate a company like that. Like, we went to court and we got these bitches for a billion. We're a billion dollar company. Oh, you know they hit it in one lick. Yeah. That's crazy. Like, this over time, this accumulated. 17 one lawyers year. across the country, 30 plus offices. Yeah, billion I'm dollar crazy. business. A year. A year. That's what's up. Don't ever quit. <laughs> And we can handle anything anybody needs handled. So uh, it's a full service law firm. Um, so I'm on the website there. I'm also on LinkedIn. Um, Kevin Gooch at LinkedIn. I'm getting and you can on connect that, bro. me there. I'm getting on that. That's where all the money is. Yeah. Yeah. Y'all gonna look at the next person be a lawyer, bro. <clears throat> got a few documents I want you to look over before you leave. I got you, I got you. I, I've handled deals as small as $2 million and deals as large as $3.2 billion. Yeah, it's a $3.2 billion joint, so <laughs> don't, it ain't a lot of paperwork. No. We just bought this. I'm going to get you to double check, make sure we signed everything. We I got get some you. Of this paper back. <laughs> Go on the parking lot? Yeah, you know, when you buy some shit, you, you start buying a bunch of shit you don't like. You go on the parking lot all day. White? <laughs> White? Oh, they ain't tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> they ain't say nothing about no fucking white, bro. <laughs> nah, they got to come back up off some of that. I got to repaint all this shit, man. It's at least 15,000 on one. Paint got to be mad at no that's how I'm living, though, man. I appreciate you stopping through the black market and Absolutely. letting us know where we can find us a good corporate lawyer who can handle this paperwork and these transactions and acquisitions. Absolutely. Because, you know, business got to grow. And investments. And investments. You speak on the investment game right mm. now, because now we got all these online gurus and everything. Well, well what I'm talking about is investing in sort of businesses, small businesses, your homie got a car wash, a restaurant. I know people approach you about stuff like that. So yeah. making sure that the paper is right when you do that, right? Making sure that you actually get ownership of the business, making sure that um, you have a say-so in the operations of the business. That's where a lot of people fall out at. Correct. You do the paperwork legally. And all you're doing is getting somebody to mutually agree to what y'all both saying legally. So. If somebody changed their mind, it's like, nah, it ain't gonna work like that. We got this paperwork. Come on, man. But see, here's the thing. If someone says they're giving you equity in their business, they may give you a letter that says you get equity in the business, but you don't actually get equity until they issue equity through the LLC, through the corporation. So making sure all of those steps happen. Right. So you actually own it. And it's not just a promise to give you something. No, that's why I, every time I do business, I make sure they give me the keys to what we're doing business <laughs> at. Because I need some collateral. That's how we get down, man. Clayton, hey, you got your good corporate lawyer? Yeah. He making big one. moves over there. But I need one here. Yeah. Call me. I got okay, you. Okay, bet. No. We both gonna hit you. Cause <laughs> you already see what we got going on over here. And you gotta keep us in the loop of what's going Absolutely. on in the business world. Absolutely. Thank y'all for having me today. I appreciate, appreciate you stepping yeah, through the black you, market. Man. And hey, there you have it, folks. The black market. Wide open.